This is this is what the, the sentiment of it is. Check check out what this chick is saying. You can't suck with women when you have money. Most of the men that I work with do have quite a bit of money. So it gets you in the door and it can get a woman, but it can't keep a healthy one. And the reason being is because a lot of wealthy men have developed these compensations and these strategies that make them very good with business, but they don't work with emotionally healthy women. They're typically more avoidantly attached men. Men who are really successful typically use validation outside of themselves, status, money, ego, cars, uh, validation through work, validation through women. They typically have a lot of shame and a pretty low sense of self, self-esteem and self-confidence. And because of their childhoods, they have a really hard time with being vulnerable because they don't really like themselves. Oftentimes these men have experienced pretty severe maternal or paternal neglect, which breaks my heart. So the only women that they can really exist with and have a pretty decent relationship with is a toxic woman, a woman who also suffers from pretty bad self-esteem, codependency. They're typically attracted to addicts, to women who don't require much from them emotionally because they can't really show up that way in a relationship. So you can get all the poo tang in the world, but typically their relationships will end up in divorce. Pretty ugly. Hmm. World, but to I can't hear you. Oh, my bad. She's saying that men that got money or men that have resources are typically bad with women and bad in relationships. Man, see, I don't, man, I don't see that because I, man, I know some millionaires and they, well, I guess he did get a, his first wife. He got divorced, but he's been rocking out with a little, I got a guy, his name is Joe. Shout out to Joe. <laughs> I don't, I don't got, agree with it though. I don't, I don't feel like that either, man. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just stupid, stupid, stupid money. Like. I don't want to just, but I don't see where she would get that from because number one, men with resources and or or you know people that have money, they tend to have longer marriages and longer relationships. So I don't I even. Like, I feel like I heard that from somewhere. Yeah, that's real. People with resources tend to stay together longer. Now that don't mean that they never get divorced or anything like that. But number one, they tend to stay together longer, especially when you have kids. That's number one, and so. Usually when the kids are raised, that's when they start to evaluate whether or not they outgrew each other and they want to go from there. But number two, money is the number one reason why people wind up getting divorces. It's not because of cheating. It's not because of infidelity. It's not because of any of that other shit. It usually is becoming money. It, it, it is money. So I appreciate you, Ralph. Thanks for the, for the compliment on the hoodie. So I don't know where she's getting this shit from. And then she's saying that guys with resources... Uh, like have childhood issues or, or, you know, they don't really like themselves. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? We love ourselves. I don't know where she get that from. We love ourselves. And, and I think that women think about it differently. They think that just because you have a relationship or you deal with a woman and it's, and it, you know, you don't tend to keep them around or stick around or you move over from them a lot more quickly that that means that they tend to have more toxic relationships i don't agree with that i think that the relationships tend to be less toxic because a person with resources understand that it's just temporary and they look at it more from a business perspective i think that i think that the money money is the great equalizer in a lot of ways it fixes a lot of problems bro a lot of problems so i don't know where she got this from i looked at her instagram <clears throat> profile and said that she a male relationship coach. I'm like, what? Hell no. How to deal with that? <laughs> yeah, it says. Did Trigger says she was writing a, a male dating book or some dumb shit. She got 383,000 followers. It said integrative men's coach, empowering men to build confidence and gain peace, relationships and dating. What? It's the same shit that Pearl. That's she's in the Pearl's land. That's what Pearl was in, like pro men shit like that. <clears throat> yeah, but how? <sighs> I don't. I, I think like why would a man that cheat? Why would a why would a why would a man look to a woman, specifically a white woman, in my opinion? Why would a man look to a woman for coaching on relationships? Just curious. 
the rationale would be, hey, we're the ones dating you, so we want we know what we want from you is probably what they would say. But they don't know what they want. They were they they stupid. I, I, I agree. I one hundred. They genuinely don't know what they want. But she got a lot of. I, I don't know. She must be saying something right on some of her other posts or something like that. I hundred percent disagree with what she's talking about right now. Um, and maybe it's just some guys. Go ahead. I think the dudes with money <clears throat> and cheating, like they going the, the same nigga, the, the same nigga will cheat when he broke. I don't think the money has anything to do with it. It probably makes it a little bit easier or option, opens his option. Who's cheating? He's probably cheating with more beautiful women. But I don't think he, he broke. He's still cheating too. Which is I think that guys, fine. I think that guys with resources, I think it's the opposite. I think that guys with resources are less likely to cheat. As weird as that sounds. And I want to say it's probably where you got your money from too. Like if you built that shit up for the mud, you probably you're probably pretty solid. But if you if you like NBA rappers, it's them niggas that'd be that'd be ruining for the rich niggas. <laughs> yeah, maybe she talking about maybe she talking about guys that's already at the finish line or they got it younger or something like that. Yeah. Most guys with money that's tend to be older. You don't really even on average, if a guy winds up becoming a millionaire, he don't become a millionaire until he's in his mid to late fifties. So, yeah. you know, the whole idea of and, and, you know, and you don't have to be a millionaire in order to have money, but the whole idea that, you know, guys are, are I think that guys are less likely to deal with women or to take risks with women when they are at the finish line and a woman didn't get it out the mud with them. There's no way in the world that I would be, man, do you know how much more careful I would be? If I wasn't married or I didn't have or, or I didn't have, you know what I'm saying? If, if I got resources and I wasn't married, but I was actually like out here in the streets isn't it dog. I would be so much more cautious and I would be a lot more. I would be a lot more reserved about who it is that I was dealing with and why. When, every time I hear about an NBA player having some random sex with a random person and get put on child support, it's baffling to me. It's NBA, weird well, just any, it's just like nigga, don't you don't know, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> like every time one of you niggas do this shit, you on the news or you in somebody's blog about this shit, and they just keep doing it, nigga. Like, at what point is like busting a nut? Ain't that like nigga? Stop. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's no like, way. Even like this. No <laughs> way, bro. It, it, it was sex on people's mind. I think what Candace uh, Owens said is she put out a thing and they were fighting about it about she said that like porn used to be banned and I guess her and um, Cardi B was going back and forth about it and Cardi B was like, no, I like porn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean porn like, used to be banned? I don't understand it. He said porn needs to be banned. Like, nigga, oh, like, it do needs to be banned. It. Yeah, that's what Candace Owens said and Cardi B was like, no. <laughs> Like and she, she's trying to advocate for it and shit. And she, porn, like I don't, man. I don't know why sex is so important and just like human society is ridiculous. That's a good question, though, bro. Like even when it comes to like, this is it was, it was it was uncomfortable to watch. They were talking about how Soldier Boy is um gay and the dude he did it with was talking about him. I heard about that, bro. 